Hey friends, let's talk about some minimal travel tips. Right now I wanna talk about toiletry. Listen, a trend that I notice in my own life is that the more I traveled, the more interesting it became to travel with less and less and less. Why? Well, first of all, if you do it yourself, you'll see why. If you have a big backpack and you're going through the airline like sort of aisle and it's getting caught on stuff and you have to shove it in the overhead compartment and then you sit down in your seat and you're like, oh shit, I forgot my like iPad or something. I have to get up and it's a travel drag. Getting to some destination in Europe and like having a roller bag over cobblestone streets or like in like beachy areas or something. It's like travel drag, right? Minimal travel feels like a luxury and yet it doesn't cost, like the whole thing is it potentially doesn't cost anything at all. This is a toiletry kit that I have used. A Ziploc bag, right? You don't have a lot of protection from explosions. If you have a lotion or a shampoo or something, this is a little bottle that Gravel makes. Gravel sponsoring this video. I'm gonna show you their new mini travel kit here in a minute. These little bottles are nice for making travel sized versions of things. They even have a cap that allows you to label and choose between what's in here. Ziploc bag, nah, all you need is one explosion of something <laughs> to go like, we need a better we, I need a better solution. So, don't knock the Ziploc bag. It has a lot going for it. It does have some drawbacks. This is a simple bag from Side by Side that I just found as like right before I made this. This is something I put my beard trimmer in to keep all the little hairs out of whatever other toiletry kit or bag. That was nice, but this is actually a solid. They, have, they sell these in like a few different sizes. Really simple, minimal zipper sort of thing. I'll link to this below. Totally doable. Maybe two of these for a minimal toiletry kit or something. As it is, I use this to keep my beard trimmer in because you know those tiny little hairs which are now all over my desk since I pulled this out. This is also a solid option. This is also from Gravel and what I've used probably most recently for the longest amount of time. It's an upgrade from the Ziploc bag. It's a more robust water sealed zip on the new ones, especially. This is an older one that has this little hook. I actually like this hook. This is also a great option. They sell this inside of some of their other toiletry kits. I loved using this. I'm gonna show you everything that I'm traveling with currently in this new mini kit, which they just put out, should be, I think it's on Kickstarter today. It's two-sided, very simple. On this side, it's meant to be your toothbrush and your toothpaste. On this side, it's a little bit bigger and you can fit more in it. Let me show you what I've got in here and then I will uh, show you the bag more closely. Native deodorant, get rid of the, uh, you know, the aluminum and stuff. Here's my beard trimmer, which is a USB charge. It actually has a special little thing. I wish this just had like USB-C. Come on, come on. I'm looking forward to the day. Talk about minimalism. like. I don't, I don't care about not having a lot of cables. I just want them all to be the same. Can we just move everything to USB-C now? But this thing works pretty dang good, has a great battery life, and I tend to just take the one, the one thing that I use. When I'm going on a longer trip, I'll bring it. When I'm not, trim myself before I go, and we're off to the races. I do tend to bring beard trimming sort of scissors for, I don't know if you know this about me, but nostril hairs. And every once in a while you get those like horns in your mustache. You know what I'm talking about. This I will show you in a minute. It is not a sex toy. It is a part of this thing, which I'll show you here in a second. I carry like a watch in here. This watch doesn't even work anymore. But sometimes little white face watch, little white face watch with a leather strap for me. That's like, that's a, that churches up the look. This one's from Withings. Uh, carry a little bit of lotion, which I'll just take from whatever hotel I'm staying at. Got some nail type stuff. You never know, as a guitar player, this just, this is critical. And oftentimes for some reason when I'm traveling, I have some downtime in the hotel, perfect time to trim up those toenails. Then I carry a little, uh, this is like a solid smell good stuff. Just put a little dab here, dab there. And I really like this. This one's not available anymore to my knowledge. If you find this somewhere, let me know. 
I'll link to it. What I'm using in the future, once this is gone, will be this from, who was this? Who made it? Misk Goods Co. Great little, great little look. But I like these solid things. They tend not to get super messy in my bag. They tend not to be like, you know you open up a bag and it's just like the whole thing smells like the cologne? I, I don't like that. So this is Gravel's new minimal toiletry kit. I absolutely love this. This is the perfect size for me. This, they didn't pay me to say that stuff. I just like this little log size. It'll, ten, it'll fit in, it's easy to fit in, like what is this, it's like the size of a few rolled socks. It's the size of like a rolled t-shirt basically, so it goes right in with my t-shirts, whichever way you, f I don't, I'm a roller. I'm a Marie Kondo, you know? Does it spark joy? Yes, it does. Her method for folding is my preferred method. She says you, it folds without having wrinkles. I still get, I still get some wrinkles, but that roll method of Marie Kondo, look that up. So, look at the access that you have here. On this big size, side rather, we've got a vertical zip, decent access to what's going on in here, right? Decent size and capacity. Again, I haven't traveled with this with my beard trimmer yet. And I don't tend to like to put my beard trimmer just right in because I get all those shavings. And I don't like the size for putting it this like inside here and then wrapping this up and putting this in. I mean, it's totally doable, but it just feels like we're working with tight space already. I'm going to have access to what I have access to. I'm going to like be a little tight on purpose because it keeps me in a nice minimal footprint of all my stuff right there. Then the thing I'm using every single night, toothbrush and toothpaste, goes right in here. I think that's a little bit genius, a little bit inspired to realize that I need this all the time, this stuff some of the time. And now here's the big deal about this. Why I've gone away from Ziplocs. First of all, the explosion thing, all it needs to happen is once for you to go like, mm. you, you just start double bagging it. You can just double bag it. And then you're like, how much landfill am I taking? <laughs> how much reusable landfill plastic is that? This looks good on a countertop, like way better than this. This is super unsightly. I feel like, you know, you could be a badass, billionaire baller, minimal travel, like aficionado, you, you're not gonna feel really comfortable just pulling it all out, everybody can see everything. Not that that's the most important thing in the world, but this on the countertop in the hotel makes a big difference compared to this. I do like that I can see everything. This gets me one step closer where I can kind of see everything and it's still kind of contained and nice. Typically I'm hanging it right on one of the towel caddy things. I dig that. But this, right on the countertop with quick access to the first thing that I need, my toothbrush and my toothpaste. Then a really quite capable, beefy little section that doesn't end up taking too much room in my bag, but can fit everything that I need. And I can look, I got decent access in here. Where's that little cologne? It's down there. I gotta root around for it and find it. It wasn't that hard. Nice little handle. This feels nice. You gotta, you gotta, maybe you're an Airbnb or some, or you know, bed and breakfast of some kind where you have like some shared bathroom, and you need to, well, you know, you just walk your way to where you're going. You got your towel over your shoulder and you're like shower caddy or something. Like this is, this is like a nice little handle. And then there's this thing, which I loop in just like this, put it through that guy. I don't know if this is how you're supposed to do it. I'm assuming it is. So now it's on there, and this is how I can. I can, act, I can like wrap it around anything, even if it's kind of funky, or even if it's on like the back of a truck or something like that, right? Silicone, sort of rubber, stretchy, it's kind of nice. I do, per, I personally kind of prefer just this simple hook, because this is normal. It's just right there, it's just Whereas this, you know. What I end up doing is not actually, I left that in the bag just to show you. This will not be a part of how I use this. Why? Because it looks fine on the countertop. It's really small footprint. Like, again, on the countertop, when you're traveling, 
those little interactions, those little like how it looks, like you, when you travel a lot, you have your like little way, your method of like doing things, get it all set up, now you're locked in, cool. Get, in, get into like Netflix mode. Couple little details about this thing. You've got their, uh, the same material that their travel backpack is made out of. They have a great travel bag. You've got water sealed zips. Uh, on both sides. This side, the way you can easily differentiate between the two is this shinier side is the toothbrush side, okay? So again, a much smaller compartment there. They could have gone like with a, maybe a, a differentiation on zipper pulls. One of them, I, would, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sad if like one of these was kind of like red, like a, a bright color or like a, a strong color of some kind to differentiate or just gray to stick with that black sort of minimal look. But great new toiletry, super, super simple, right? They're just launching it right now. It's like, this would be fine as a, by the way, a pouch, like a really solid kind of pouch in your everyday carry kind of thing. But as far as minimal toiletry kits go, this is my favorite I've found basically besides the Ziploc. If you're a rambler out there and you're like walking the Camino or something like that and you need, you need to find, you need to just carry what you need, double bag in a Ziploc, you're still gonna be good, right? You're still, you're gonna look like a traveler going through Europe with a backpack. This is a, definitely a more of an elevated like perspective and yet still the value of super minimalism with multiple compartment kind of access. I think they did a great job with this. This thing is like uh, surprisingly delightful. So shout out to Gravel for that. My one last tip here is when it comes to minimal travel, minimal travel is like a very interesting thing. Like there's a, there's a market out there for this. Like I have on my site, matterful.co, a bunch of minimal travel bags highlighted for you there. The first one that started it all for me was Minal, M-I-N-A-A-L. In fact, right now I'll link to my latest review of one of their bags. Less capacity than maximum carry-on size. So on purpose, it's like designed for like smooth travel. This bag right back here, the packed travel bag, 35 liters, definitely can fit a little more in that than you can in the Manal. The Manal can get kind of tight and the Manal can feel a little like you can almost daily carry with it, but not not quite, it's like kind of big and gets kind of frumpy, but when you're, when you're Southeast Asia for four months or something, like you're stoked, right? This is big enough to fit in a, like a, a really minimal, packable daily carry bag. That's my mode for that. And it's got two compartments, opens like a suitcase, lots of organization, feels, feels good. That is a killer minimal travel bag because we've got like the harness system, comfortable for when you're really walking through, like sometimes you gotta walk. Sometimes you gotta go far. You know, that's one of the beautiful things about doing the backpack instead of the roller bag, okay? But the point I'm getting to is you may find yourself going more and more minimal over time. So if you're not, like if you're not into this, no worries. If you're, if you're, if you're into this or they're bigger ones, they have these really big organized travel uh, toiletry kits that are that are people love. They're they're amazing. I've always been more minimal and more simple in my carry. They finally made one that's like solid for me. So watch how you minimize over time, and don't ever forget that when you're when you get to where you're going, you might have forgotten the dental floss. Well, guess what? There's like a Walgreens on the corner of 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 you know Milan, some street in Milan. There's 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 things that the locals do to solve the problem you're trying to solve, right? It's kind of an engagement. Sometimes you get there and you need a new pair of underwear. Like, oh, this is fun. Let's see how this works. No comment on why I needed new underwear in Milan. That's for, you know, let's get a beer sometime, okay? I'm Chase Reeves. Shout out to Gravel for sponsoring this video, for making this like solid. I'm, I, I love elegant and simple stuff. This is bomb proof, it's water resistant, it's like you, stuff's gonna, if it ever explodes inside, you're gonna be set up fine. It's gonna keep that from having a mat, like you get like this bag, this literally, this Ziploc does have a hole in it. I didn't, I just noticed it when I was like looking at it here. Little things like that, they can really, you know, your favorite shirt, you only brought three shirts, your favorite shirt has like, it's now like super, shampooed out or something like that. I personally, I don't travel with shampoo. Castile soap sometimes, like in one of these little bottles.
I want to talk about minimal travel, but this video should be done now. I should be stopped there. What minimal travel tip has meant something to you? What has meant for me, I'm getting out of here, is one of the places to minimize your toiletry kit, for sure. What's a tip or trick or something that you've experienced in minimal travel? Holler in the comments. I want to hear them. I want to collect them. Maybe I'll do a video like roundup of our favorite minimal travel tips. Okay, I'm Chase Reeves. Thanks for watching. You can always go to matterful.co and find my curated list of my favorite things. This is definitely going in the toiletry section. Uh, probably also in the like tech pouch section. This is an awesome like kind of put your tech stuff in your bag in a really simple, sleek, minimal way. Matterful.co, while you're there, get on the email list because we do giveaways. That's how you enter to win uh, when we do those. But subscribe here if you're interested in a lifestyle of significance, in the stuff that matters for stuff that matters. Because I'll tell you one thing right now. Traveling and getting out in the world, that changes your perspective. It alters your point of view. It deepens your experience of life on the planet and it opens you to the wonder that was right there. You just didn't even, of course you hadn't experienced that before. Of course you've never bought underwear in Milan if you've never been to Milan. <laughs> May you find the underwear you need and travel minimally enough, but have what you need. You know, having what you need, you need it. Talk to you. Bye-bye.